Trinidad and Tobago in two, Ghana in three, Nigeria in four, England in five, Jamaica in six, India in seven, Australia in eight, and Scotland in nine. Set. The women's sprint relay final. It's a clean start as well. Amuzan getting out nicely in lane number four, as expected. India going well in lane number seven, Australia in lane number eight too. This is good running by Nigeria in lane number four. All look pretty safe on the changeovers. Imani Lansico flying down the back straight, as is Favor Ophili of Nigeria. Second changeover, hands held high. Australia on the outside in lane eight going well. Nigeria, though, flying round with Chuck Wuma on the third leg. Hands back for the Nigerians. A roar from her teammates. Nigeria going to take this one. England with Daryl Nietzsche in second. Keep an eye on Thompson here, though. The Jamaican superstar comes through for bronze for the Jamaican side. But 42.10 seconds, just outside the game's record. But that was brilliant from Nigeria. Absolutely superb. The quartet was fast. Toby Amusan was brought in. And she got the team off to an absolute flyer. Eight our area record. Yes, indeed, Nigeria, you are the Commonwealth champions. England pick up the silver and Jamaica the bronze. We've been saying all week how amazing the performances from the Nigerian women have been, both on the field and now in the sprints. And I was actually reading a quote by Favor Ophili, and she was talking about what the difference is. And she said, the difference is we now believe in ourselves. We believe we can compete with the rest of the world. And I think that performance by their relay team just highlights the mentality that is going through that team right now. Well, it's a national record, so you can't do any more than that. The Nigerians confirmed as the gold medal winners. England in second with Philip Lantico, Williams and Nita. And the flags are being draped by the Nigerian team. And Elaine Thompson.